Hi, everybody. I just wanted to take a few moments here to talk really quickly about slope. Okay, so slope is the measure of the steepness of a line or a line segment. And it's the ratio between the vertical change between two points to the horizontal change. So if you take a look at the two uh, little triangles, in essence, that I've built here, whoops, sorry about that. I've got a line segment here in black and a line segment here in black. And I've noted two points at the end points here. And when you compare them vertically, okay, so you'll notice over here um, that the rise, the difference between those two points is in red and it's four. And the difference in the horizontal position of those two points is in blue, it's in two here. Now we use M to represent slope. This is gonna be the ratio four over two, which we would simplify down to two over one or, or just two. Whereas for this one over here, when I look at the, the vertical change between those two, it's two in red, and the horizontal change between them is four. So it's gonna be two over four or one half. So slope, one way of thinking about it is it's the rise over the run. And this is a very, very common way of looking at it, where this is the change in change in the vertical distance over the change in the horizontal distance. We're going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. Now, let's say you've got a line on a, on a Cartesian plane. One of the things that you want to do to determine the slope of it is you can count this out. Now, what you want to do, though, is you want to pick two points that are easy to work with. You want to pick lattice points. So I'm going to pick this point right here. That's going to be my point A. It's got the coordinates negative 2, negative 1. And then I'm going to pick another point that's easy to work with. Let's pick this one right here, B. This is going to be the point 1, comma 1. And then what I do is I'm simply going to count out my slope. So I'm starting at A. I know that's rise over run. So I'm going to move vertically first. And I go 1 unit, 2 units vertically. And then horizontally, it's 1, 2, 3. So the slope of my line segment here is going to be 2, over three. Now the interesting thing about slope, particularly with a line, what makes it a straight line is that the slope is the same, really, no matter what pair of points you pick. So I could pick another pair. Let's go way down here. Let's pick, make this point C. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be negative five, comma, negative three. And we'll pick another point up here. Let's make that uh, D. That's going to be the point four, comma, three. If I now do the same thing and count out my slope, starting at C, I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 over. So my slope here is going to be 6 up over a run of 9, and again, that simplifies down to 2 thirds, so it really shouldn't matter. That's one way of looking at it, or that's another way, that's one way that slope, uh, can be can be discussed here. Now, this definition, though, opens up the possibility to some, a situation like this. What if I pick the two points here? What if I make this my A point? Okay, this is A. And this is going to be the point negative, whoops, negative 2, uh, 3. So I don't know why I did that. Negative 2, comma, 3. And I'll choose this point down here. It's going to be 1, comma, negative 1. And this is my point B. Now, if I count out my slope here, instead of going up, I have to go down. And that's going to be one, two, three, four units. And my run here is going to be three units. So to indicate that it's going down, I'm going to use a negative number. So negative four over three is my slope. That works in either direction. I could have started at B, for example, done this. I could have started at B and done my rise. I could go up one, two, three, four. But this time my run would be negative if I go backwards, one, two, three. So as long as I'm, I read left to right as being positive, uh, down to up as being positive, and then up to down is negative, right to left is negative, this will work here. And then remember, these two values are the same because it really doesn't matter where the negative is, the whole value becomes negative. Now just really quickly to wrap this up, when a slope rises to the right, it's going to be a positive value. If the slope drops to the right, it's a negative value. If there is no change, vertically between two points, the slope is zero. If there's no change horizontally, this one's a little bit weird here. If there's no change between two points horizontally, the slope is undefined. Okay, and that's, the, that's what we say when we have a vertical line here, the slope is undefined. It's the only one that's not a value here. And just really quickly to wrap this up here, one common error that people make here when they're working with this is they don't apply the negative when it's a negative slope. They just kind of ignore the negative and they always make things positive here. So you just want to make sure that if it is dropping to the right that you do in fact have a negative value there.